Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can be part of the Shannon's Club, Penrite Oil, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm and Duncan Foster Engineering. <laughs> I have such a great time travelling parts of Australia, the United States of America and New Zealand to bring you some of the best car shows on the planet. So who am I and what is the show? Well, I'm Fletch and this is Classic Restos. And before we go any further, here is a word from the advertisers, the people that help the show roll along each and every week. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. For oils, coolants, additives and technical assistance, oil right, use Penrite. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. And on this week's episode, I've travelled to a pretty part of regional Victoria to bring you this. Welcome to the 2016 Euroa Show and Shine. And here we are. Picture Albury, New South Wales in the north and Melbourne, Victoria in the south. We are approximately in the middle, the regional township of Euroa. The town is located in the Goulburn Valley, however the Strathbogie Ranges are not too far away. Like most regional Australian towns, the leafy backdrops and country atmosphere is almost addictive when you visit. It was back in 1836 when Major T.L. Mitchell had nothing much on one Saturday afternoon, so he decided to camp on the banks of the Seven Creeks and discover the joint. In fact, Major T.L. Mitchell surveyed a lot of southeastern Australia, an exhausting job at the time, and when he returned home, he was dead. Someone needed to send a note, so the post office opened on the 1st of January, 1854. This building still stands. Euroa's claim to fame is that the National Bank was robbed by Ned Kelly in 1878. Much of the region's wealth once came from sheep, but now it comes from horse studs. But today hopefully some more wealth will be brought to this delightful town as hundreds of classic car and bike enthusiasts line the streets. Time now, let's go take a closer look. This is it, the 2016 Euroa Show and Shine. We've got Greg. How you doing, Greg? Not bad. Flirt yourself. Good, mate. Good. This is bigger than Ben Hur, a 1959 Caddy Stretch. I've got one question for you, Greg. Yeah, what's that? Where did you find it? Uh, this one came from Western Australia. Um, I've got a standard one at home that came from St Albans. I've just finished building. And how long have you had it, Greg? This one about five years, I think. Wow. Okay, now look, uh, this car has to ooze some sort of history. Uh, why was the car built as a stretch? Do you know who once owned the car? No, not at all, I'm afraid. I do well, don't, don't be afraid. I know there was a doctor at one point that had it stretched, and that was in New South Wales, but I don't really know much of the history of it other than that. So. Good. A doctor's car, can you believe that? It could have been a mobile surgery. <laughs> Just about. Now, tell us, Greg, uh, how do you feel when you drive this car around? What, it'd be close to 30 feet in length, right? Uh, it's about 8 metres long, weighs in about 3 tonne empty, about 4 tonne full. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a joy to drive, it's fully airbagged, so... Yeah. I, I love it how it's 3 tonne empty and 4 tonne full. So, there's a tonne there, so what do, you, what do you put in it? What, concrete? No, just 10 people, usually. It's a mobile party car, isn't it? Well, that's the uh, that's the aim of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, 
Okay, so uh, do you use it for any uh, uh, business purpose at all? Yes, Fletcher, I use it for um, a business. I've got a, a classic limousine company. So we've got uh, 259 caddies, um, as in limousines, and then a uh, 58 um, Chrysler Stretch, a uh, couple of tank Fairlanes, uh, Mustang, a few yeah. other odds and ends kicking around. Yeah, so. good. It's good to have a bit of a universal uh, pair of goggles on where you can appreciate more than just one brand. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, as long as it's American and it cruises, I'm, I'm sort of pretty happy with that. So. Hey, hey, there you go. Now, speaking of cruising, what is it like as an old girl? Nice to drive? Oh, this is very good. It's it's a very stable platform, actually, yeah. compared to the old floaters that you're sort of used to. It's yeah. yeah, it's good. I mean, the thing is, you'd go over a bump up front and it'd be like three or four minutes before you felt it in the rear. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, as, and as for the nose cone, it gets there 10 seconds before you do. Yeah, yep, yeah. yes, and it's um, yeah, it's all it's all about the weight, it'll uh, it'll certainly move you, yeah, that's for sure. There's something about long wheelbase and track, but here we've got, I guess, the basis of the car, a 59 Cadillac, the most, I guess, gaudy Cadillac ever made, with the <laughs> highest tail fins, dripping in chrome. Why give it one layer of bumper bar when you can give it a few? Well, that's right. I mean... Look at the length of it, I mean, straight. <laughs> no worries, plenty of chrome there. Okay, now you've got your wife here with you today, Greg. Yeah, Fletch, her name's Jackie. She's uh, She drives this too, by the way, yeah. just occasionally, yeah, and she likes driving the smaller one as well, so. Isn't that good? Yeah, it's terrific. Yeah, there's, there's not many ladies who get around driving a 30 foot long Cadillac. No, it's really interesting when she does some of the jobs, you know, she gets there and when the blokes realise it's a girl, it's like, can we help you park it? And it's like, no, no, it got here by itself, mate, it's fine. <laughs> All right, Greg, I'll let you get around. Beautiful day here today, Eroa. Uh, it's a big show. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, so this year it's in the, they've blocked off a whole street and uh, boy, there's hundreds of cars here and uh, you've got to get around and see a bit, right? To right, Fletch, I just got here, so I want to go have a wander, yeah, see what I can yeah. find. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, mate. Catch up with you. You're watching the 2016 Euroa Show and Shine, and you're seeing it first on Classic Restos. Back with more right after this. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Penride. Australian made, family owned and operated. Make premium quality engine and racing oils. Warranty approved coolants automatic transmission and manual gear oils, a complete range of engine and fuel additives, heavy duty and industrial products for every application. Visit penrideoil.com for more information. Penrite, Australian made for Australian conditions since 1926. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Look at these restoration products. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. Moving through, time for Stu now. How you doing, buddy? Good, thanks, Fletch. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. This is an exciting car. It's a car you don't see every day of the week. 1972 XA GT Falcon. What a stunner. Thanks for that, Fletch. It's a great car. I restored it over about a four-year period and just out having fun in it. Good event like uh, Euro here you're putting on. Sun's grouse. Yep. It's all happening for us. Now, one important thing about this car, there's a lot of emotional attachment here. Give us a rundown on that. It, my father had one in the family early days when I was 15 and I've had a number of GD Falcons and things like that and just needed something a bit more sentimental to attach me to my dad. That's lovely isn't it? I mean there's lots of guys around uh, at our stage of life that would be, be nice to be able to say that our dad's had GTs. He must have been a pretty cool fella. Yeah he was. You know, um, 
he, he was a hard working man and idolised him a lot as I was a boy and got into cars and things and you know like most good Aussie kids had been raised with their fathers you know. Particular car? Do you know much of the the history on this one, Stuart? Um, my car was a, a a one owner car, which had come from WA, and it um, sort of sat getting restored originally by a, a nephew of the car, and I ended up getting hold of it and finishing it. Yeah. You know, but um, they were the last of the the four V engine cars that were, you know, built for Bathurst and things like that, and I think they did uh, five. XARPO80. Uh, sorry, they were the Phase Four GD Falcons, yeah. and this is just this is just a standard XAGT. But you know, it's just a yeah. a classic old car. I mean, how would it have been it had the Phase Four gone into production? I mean, the X XY Phase Three, 140 miles an hour from the factory. The Phase Four was set for 150 miles an hour due to the Coke bottle styling and aerodynamics. Because basically, the engine between Phase Three and Phase Four, there was nothing really in that. They ju it just went down to body styling, which is interesting too, because there was so much emphasis put on the XY. The XA was often overshadowed, and then it picked up again a little in XB. But I don't know about you, but the XA to me, it's I reckon it's a tremendous style car. Yeah, it's a bit more of a, a comfortable car to drive because it's got all the later model you know high back bucket seats and and things like that just the seating position and things is a bit yeah. nicer but it's just a cruiser it's great well it's the first year two of the the cockpit style dash the wraparound dash i when that first came out in the falcons i thought that was that was a, a pretty cool look yeah it, they are actually you know um it was a big change from the xy to the xagt in the cockpit yeah. dash as you said yeah. But, um, you know, a lot of people favourite the XY. I just have a soft spot for yeah, XAs. Absolutely. Now, uh, this particular car, Stuart, obviously 351 Cleveland, 4V heads, hamburger with a lot. Yep, yep. It's very basic. There's no air or steer in the car, so, you know, it's uh, parking's a challenge sometimes, but it, it's just, yeah. you know, a, a basic Falcon where a lot of me mates call it the taxi. There you go, a high-powered cab. Uh, Stu, <laughs> thanks for hanging around being a part of, uh, of this uh, episode for Classic Restos. As he said earlier, guys, a hey, Euroa 2016, this is where it's happening. What a show. They block off a main street, hundreds of cars, the sun's out, which actually between us, you know, we've got to make the most of. That's it, Fletch, and um, you do a great job for the car industry getting an, all these sort of classics out there on the TV for us all. Thank you, mate. That's my pleasure. Thanks, Stu. No Cheers. Thanks, Fletch. No worries, all the best. Thank you. How good is this 1972 XAGT? Stuart is one lucky guy. Of course, there's the tuck at the heartstrings, the emotional attachment from his father owning GTs. But this particular car, original. The original paint colour, and have a look at the interior. A 44-year-old car with an interior like that, that has got to be an exceptional score. And it would be welcome in my garage, and I'm sure yours as well. So James, what's the go with the torn seat? Well, I wanted to go for the original look, and look, I think it adds a little bit of character. An original car here, last of the QE's 1974 HQ, beautiful car, 202 four-speed. James, I'm always intrigued as to where these people find these cars. What's the deal, James? Well, I found it off an old, um, an old gentleman up in uh, up in Tawonga, in northeast Victoria. He um, he had it since brand new, and um, obviously, unfortunately, got a little bit old, and. Um, couldn't drive it anymore and uh, and yeah decided to get rid of it. You know what, I've got to say, James, I'm getting a bit of a soft spot for the HQ. The HQ has grown on me. It has, right through to the HZ. I mean, they're a good bodied car. Four coil spring suspension. They drive nice. They're well built. And the rarity of this car too, obviously, being the 202 and a four-speed, it's a, a rare combo now. It is, yes. Um, it's the original six-cylinder uh, four-speed gearbox. Um, yeah, there, there's not too many of them around. The, the older gentleman, he, he wanted the manual, 
uh, coming from Italy back in the 70s, everything was four speed and, and that's what he wanted. Okay, so he came out from the old country, he wanted an Australian car, what was his, what was his theory there? Uh, well, yeah, that's exactly it. He, he landed here in 1974. Uh, he said, the first thing I want to do is get an Australian car. And obviously the HQ was, was the car of the day. And yeah, that's what he ended up with. Uh, bless his heart, a eh? hard-working Italian guy coming to Australia with, with that uh, outlook of, of wanting to buy the hold. And I just love that. Now, we look at the interior, James. Now, original, apart from, OK, we started the, today's interview with uh, the tear in the seat. I love that because... It hasn't been patched up. You, that's just the way it is. That is the way it is. Look, I was in two minds whether to get it patched up or not. Uh, some people say it adds character. Look, I tend to agree. Um, one day I'll get it patched up. I think for the meantime, just leave it be, you know, because it's kind of like a tear in the seat. No bullshit about the seat, <laughs> you know. Uh, now, what about the outside paint colour? Has it had paint? Is this the original colour? What's the story there? It has been repainted, uh, but it's been repainted in the original colour. The colour is called uh, saffron metallic, uh, and again, Hang on saffron, saffron metallic. It's like as I'm out for tie and I've ordered a rice. <laughs> Maybe, but again, a, a fairly rare colour on a Kingswood. Hold and go back with you, James. When, when was, where were you in the period of your timeline where you thought, I want a HQ? Oh, geez, I think I might have been 10 or 12 years old. Um, yeah, and I've, I've just loved HQs. And I always said to myself, one day I'm going to own a HQ. It's taken me 45 years, but I finally done it. See, this is what it's about. Isn't it? This is what Classic Restos is about. Finding the history of these cars, talking to the people that have waited most of their, their lives for one, and here it is. Good on you, James. Love talking to you, buddy. Thanks, thanks, Fletch. It's been great. Thanks for having me. That's all right, mate. Look after the HQ. Thank you. I reckon you deserve a Fletch tour. Have a look at this. There is nothing quite like a Fletch tour. Carlisle or Ford Nationals, GM Nationals and Chrysler Nationals await you. Coming on the Fletch tour was, was really great. The people that run the tour are fantastic. Experience Route 66 from Chicago to Vegas or choose the Detroit tour, attending the Woodward Dream Cruise. If you're going to travel anywhere, you've got to do a Fletch tour. On a Fletch tour, you're looked after every step of the way. See FletchTours.com or contact All Things Travel, Lara. In 1926, Australia's Penrite Oil Company was established. Almost 90 years of research, development and refining under the harsh Australian conditions has made Penrite Oil what it is today. Precision, performance, reliability and protection. Championship winning products. Trust Penrite. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. And with a range like this, you cannot go wrong. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House and they're also open Saturday mornings. Their range of machine tools are workshop tested. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerywhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. 
The 2016 Euroa Show and Shine. Now, there's a lot to learn about the European cars. This one has really taken my eye. PJ, welcome to today's show. Good, thank you very much, Fletch. Mate, I love this 1978 450 Mercedes. Yes, what yes, this? What a what a glamorous car. Thank you very much. I mean, have a look at its stance. Would you look at its side profile? Look at the way it sits. It's a longer wheelbase too, right? Just explain long, that. Long wheelbase, a bit different to the 380 SL. The 450 is a, a little bit longer wheelbase. Right. Yep. So the 380 is a 3.8 litre, 450, we've got a 4.5 litre V8 here, overhead cam, right? That's it. So it'll be pretty revvy, I'd, I'd like to get up and go. Well, it likes to move along on the highway a bit. I've got to be careful. Well, of course. I mean, it's not about the speed, it's about the effortlessness under the right foot, just the smoothness, how the power is delivered. It really makes a car, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Fletch. PJ, tell us the history of this car. I always like to know where they're from. This this car is, like as I said earlier, I mean, this is stunning, stunning car. Well, I bought it off a deal. I, I had PJ uh, restorations up in the Gold Coast. He come down and he wanted a 57 Chevy. And when I walked him out, we'd done the deal on the Chevy to bring it out from the States. And when we walked out to the street, this car was parked in the street. That was his car. And uh, I said, what this car? Would, uh, he said, I'm driving it as my own at the moment but we're going to sell it put on the market in a couple of weeks time and uh, knew they were 74 so i said come in the office and we'll make a i like this car and we'll have a have a deal with the 57 chevy so that's how i got the car that's amazing that's it really is i mean you know it's a european car that i would have in my shed um, I love the interior as well, it's not overdone, it's just nice. Uh, and the wheels too, tell us a story on the wheels, what you've, you've done there PJ. Well the wheels are 15 uh, normal and uh, I bought these out from uh, AMG yep. and they're 18 inch wheels. Yep. Yep. I mean I think for again for 1978 there were so many changes in the late 70s uh, with car manufacture. It's uh, still good to see a car that was built in 1978 that still really has a lot of class in 2016. Yeah, this, this has got a lot of class, it looks good. The 450 SLCs from the side vision it looks uh, magic. Yep. Yep. I mean it's the right size car too for that four and a half litre V8 as well I would imagine. I mean I think power to weight would be a good combination. Yeah it's very heavy. Where credit's due to, Benz have always built a very, very good car body-wise, haven't they? They've always been a, a very well-made thing. They have, and uh, done a bit of history in one of the best cars with this 450 SLC. Yeah, yeah One of the best, best models they bought out. Well, PJ, you've turned up here today. You've done this section of the street proud with this Benz, Thanks. I think. Thanks very much, Fletch. That's all right. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a picture in the paddock here this afternoon with the beautiful leafy trees around and the nice 450. You've done well. Thank you very much, Fletch. All right. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Fletch. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is wipe out my audience with this backdrop, and I bet about now you're feeling pretty flushed because we've come to the end of the show. And you have seen just some of the 2016 Euroa Show and Shine. As I say at the end of every Classic Restos, until next week, no matter where you're watching from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Classic Restos TV and watch catch-up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can be part of the Shannons Club, Penright Oil, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm and Duncan Foster Engineering.